What is up you guys? Today my beautiful wife Haley and I have come all the way out to Las Vegas, Nevada. So we came out here for the Boss Reseller Remix. It's like a reseller conference, but we're gonna start today's video by all the thrifting. It's actually the last day of our Las Vegas trip right now when we're filming this, but Sunday. we've but we've been to like <laughs> six thrift stores or so. Uh, so we're gonna put in the thrifting content first, and then we'll talk about more of the conference later on in today's video. Salvation Army, first one here in Las Vegas. Let's see what they got. And they're here, guys. A pair of Dansko like women's leather clogs, seven ninety nine, eight bucks. It's not too bad. All right, looks like Haley picked up that that Jordan hoodie. I put it back a minute ago because I was still thinking about it, but she went and grabbed it. I think so I think cool. it'd be worth it. Yeah, it's only like six bucks. It's a three XLT. Yeah, yeah, that would be worth it. I think we're it's gonna, gonna be ten dollars here though. Ten? Yes. Jackets and blazers are ten dollars. I don't think that would be a jacket. I think that's a sweatshirt. Five ninety nine. Oh, sweatshirts and hoodies. Oh. I wouldn't pay ten to ten for it. I thought these two things were just cool. This one is um a Mickey mm -hmm. sweatshirt. However, it's Zara. Oh. Disney. Interesting. And I found a Made in USA New York Yankee sweatshirt. Wow, what the, what the day on that? 1989. Wow, that's wild. I need to say that's a good find right there. So we spent $29 in that Salvation Army on all these clothes and that one pair of Dansko shoes I picked up. I didn't show you guys this. It's, uh, I've never heard of this brand before. It's like a men's quarter zip uh, sweatshirt. Scott E vest, 2XL. Sole comps on these in used condition are looking pretty good, like 40 bucks or so plus shipping. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed that. That was $5.99. All the hoodies were $5.99. Shoes were seven bucks. Uh, just a really affordable thrift store. Let's go on to another one. We actually found a Savers here in Las Vegas. And the only other two times I've been to a Savers is when I was in Utah. And those are the two thrift stores we went to that day and didn't find anything. So I don't I know. one in Arizona. Did you find anything? No. <laughs> well, we'll see if There's this trend continues. I guess if you donate something, you get a little bit of Oh yeah, discount. we should have got something at the last thrift store to donate really here just for the coupon. <laughs> it is super busy in this Savers right now and I just heard that it's half price day. So I think shoes are normally $12 here and today all the shoes should be $6. So that, uh, I mean, obviously things are picked through, but maybe that gives us a good chance of finding something we can actually fit in the suitcase and take home with us. We'll keep looking. So that last Savers we went to was a total bust. that was super busy in there. Even though it was half off day, we really didn't find anything worth buying. So we came to another Salvation Army. We had a good look at the first one. Let's see if we can keep it going. We got this pair of women's teen hiking boots right here. These look to be in pretty good shape and they're a women's size seven. I don't know if you can see that, but they're women's size seven. Only $12.99. I feel like that's, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than we're used to, but I think there's still enough meat left on the bone for us to go ahead and pull the trigger on these. But the only thing we got in that Salvation Army was that pair of women's keen boots. They had a sticker on the bottom that said $12.99, but she was like going through that book of price tags and she's yeah. like, we don't have a $12.99 sticker, so I'll just give them to you for $9.99. I'm like, it's fine, fine, fine with me. So we rounded up to 10 to help something, I don't know, whatever she said. Uh, so 10 bucks for that pair of women's keen boots. I think that's pretty good. They'll take up a little bit of space in our suitcase, but I think we should be able to get at least 40 or 50 bucks the for them. Plus, we still need to buy yeah, them. yeah, we still <laughs> haven't bought that suitcase. That should probably be our next our next thing. So the first day we're here, we went to In N Out Burger for lunch. The next day we went to this crazy good breakfast place that was not healthy at all. Lots and then, of food. <laughs> yeah, and the last night we went to the Hershey's chocolate factory thing on this trip. Obviously, when you're on vacation, it's hard to eat healthy yes. i guess it's possible but it's very difficult and that leads me to the sponsor of today's video noom noom is a consumer-led digital health platform that leverages a powerful combination of human coaches psychology and science to empower people to take control of their health they also recognize that there's more to living a healthy life than just a healthy weight which is why weight management is just the beginning so i've been following the noom curriculum for about two weeks or so and as you go through the lessons and read the articles and follow the psych tips it really does help you think about and treat food in new ways that you've never done before to be honest with you guys my biggest problem with my health is my appetite i am always freaking hungry and Noom has taught me that you can pick 
foods that make you feel more full for the same amount of calories. So picture you have 30 raisins in one hand and 30 grapes in the other hand. Nutritionally and calorically, these things are exactly the same, but obviously if you eat 30 grapes, you're gonna feel way more full and satisfied than if you ate 30 raisins. So making little small adjustments and changes like that to your diet can have a huge impact on your overall appetite and caloric intake. There is so much more to Noom than I can tell you guys about in a 60 second YouTube ad. So click the link down below to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, it's easy, and it'll help you create a custom plan that's right for you and your health goals. Thanks again to Noom for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to the first Goodwill of Las Vegas. I've been looking around this Goodwill for about 20 minutes or so. Haley is somewhere. Hopefully she found some good stuff as well. Uh, I've only picked up a couple pairs of shoes so far. We got these Skechers Gogomat Wide Fit running shoes. These are like Skechers version of Hoka's and these actually sell pretty well. I think given the condition, um, I mean, these are like almost in mint condition. We could probably get about $40 for these uh, plus shipping and these are 15, 14.99. Um, obviously we're gonna pay up for stuff because Goodwills are expensive. I got uh, two pairs of men's ultra running shoes, $14.99 on these. Uh, these are like a men's seven and a half, excellent condition. Maybe like another 40 bucks or so there. Um, another pair of ultras, which are exactly the same shoe as those, just in a different colorway for $14.99 as well. And then $12.99 for this pair of men's foot joy golf shoes. Um, they're in pretty good condition as well. So we'll uh, go check on Haley, see what she's found. Um, I found some very expensive things that I didn't get. But yeah, everything here is kind of, all the good stuff at least is very expensive. Ooh, soft surroundings. Six, six bucks? Nope. Sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. six dollars. <laughs> Still six dollars. That's awesome. And then I knew a type of sweater, also for six dollars. Wow, that's crazy. But I found a Columbia jacket that they wanted twenty dollars for. Yeah, of and course. And I found two Madewell shirts in like a really cute like fall pattern. Yeah. They wanted thirteen dollars. Yeah, it seems like they're going through and like picking out the quote to good stuff yes. and pricing up a little bit. But I found a couple pairs of shoes. I'll say a couple. I found four. <laughs> We're definitely going to need to find that suitcase soon. So we spent $78 in that Goodwill today on all the shoes and a couple clothing items. Haley had to get a belt because she she forgot to pack her own belt in her luggage. But uh, 78 bucks is obviously more than we would have spent at Goodwill back home. But, you know, for a Goodwill out in Las Vegas in the middle of the city, I, I'm, I'm surprised we were able to find profitable items at all. So certainly not complaining. So if you guys remember a couple weeks ago when we were in Los Angeles, we rented a car to drive around the city and, and thrift because it was just cheap to rent a car than it is to take ubers everywhere so when we we're coming to las vegas we went to rent a car again and i've always wanted to drive a tesla so we we went ahead and went to uh, turo and we rented a tesla for the pretty much the entire time we're going to be in vegas and it is a wild experience we're on the interstate now i'm trying to get to a point where we can turn on the the autopilot here and there we go the, the car is literally driving itself right now. It is a wild experience and I'm not quite used to it yet. So we actually just pulled up to a Deseret Industries. Shout out Tim Osborne to Thrift. So I'm in like the outdoor section here at the Deseret Industries. I was looking for a suitcase to put all of our stuff in to check back. And unfortunately I didn't find an actual suitcase, but I found this bag, which is a travel ski case. Do you think this guy's, this could fit all of the shoes and stuff we bought? It's only $6. I, I think it'll work. So obviously we picked up the bag. I got this Ralph Lauren Chaps uh, medium size jacket for only $6. Ralph Lauren Chaps is not a great brand, but uh, this is a pretty cool jacket. I think we should be able to get um, maybe 25, 30 bucks for it or so. Also picked up uh, this Nike Golf Polo for $4. Um, it's a little older, but it's in good shape Ugh, other than being a little wrinkled, no custom embroideries other than the little Nike check on the sleeve. Again, only $4 for that. Should be an easy 20 bucks. Picked up this shirt. Never heard of it before. RJC, made in Hawaii, USA. It's $6. It's like a vintage um, Hawaiian shirt. Figure we can get about 20 bucks for that. And then got this shirt, Izod, which is not a very great brand, but it's only $4. And I really like the colorway, like this, the vertical stripes. So I might get that just for me. Let's see. Uh, Haley's back here. What did you find? Um, I found a oh, Nike, Nike Pro. Pro zip up. Yeah, how much is that? Five dollars. Five bucks. That's crazy. And then this really cool Adidas. Jacket. Oh my gosh! Look at that. And it's got the like logo oh on the back. Oh my man, that is awesome. And it's also only five dollars. Five bucks. That's all cheaper than everything I found. My favorite part of the store so far is the hangers. Hangers. They're all the exact same. And then when you go and like, they're just. It glides, yeah, it's smooth. It glides across. Goodwill is like. Arr, arr. Goodwill, they're usually like packed so tight that you can't even like go <laughs> That's through. That's true. It's like. Arr. 
Okay, that's, look, yeah. Really Deseret Industries is definitely one of the best thrift stores there are, <laughs> for sure. We go getting on the interstate. Haley has decided to take a turn driving the Tesla. She really likes it. If you can't, if you can't, look at her, look at her. This thing is fun. So we just got to this thrift store. Isn't it called like just thrift store? Thrift store. <laughs> I think this I just said thrift store, but the parking for it is on the roof. We're like on the roof of the thrift store right now. We gotta go down these uh, sketchy looking stairs to get to the actual store. Thrift store six. So we've been looking around this shop for a few minutes now. It kind of makes me, I, I think it's owned by like maybe a storage unit buyer or something. It's just a lot of like miscellaneous items um, and a lot of VHS tapes over here. There's a couple items in the case up here that may be good, but they're priced at basically eBay value. So uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to find anything here. So we'll probably move on to the next thrift store. It happens. Yeah. Just as I said that, I found this. For five bucks, VHS C adapt adapter, brand new. I bet you this is good. There's nine listed, sold seven, almost 100% sell through rate. Uh, 20 bucks plus shipping, 23 free shipping, 26 plus shipping. Hmm, it's only five bucks though. Let's check Amazon. Sales rank is 14, zero listed. Yeah, we'll get it. We just pulled up to this really cool looking Goodwill and we got some pigeons over here fighting over fighting over something. Hopefully the inside of this Goodwill doesn't look like that. This is a really cool looking Goodwill though. But generally the cooler looking the Goodwill, the more higher the prices. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I have definitely been shopping. I got a couple pairs of shoes down here and some clothing. Um, I think Haley's is underneath here somewhere. Um, I didn't really find much at all. We still found some good stuff. What is this? Well, I, okay, so these are Nike leggings. They look basic. Yeah. They have a little like ruching on the bottom. Yeah. OSU. Nike. Yeah. What is OSU? It's, uh, Nike Therm oh, 2 XL is perfect. And that's only eight bucks. That's crazy. We thought there was like a half price sale today, but apparently it's not. Oh, there's some marker around there. That should come out. Yeah. It's very faint. How much for these leggings? Five dollars. Oh yeah, five bucks for those, that's awesome. I got a bunch of clothing. We're trying to fill up that ski bag we got. We got the Nike Golf Dry Fit XL, red and white stripe. I got this Smart Wool shirt, size extra large. This one, um, $5.99, that one was $5.99 as well. Smart Wool's a good brand. That's something that, I don't know, I haven't seen a ton of. I think I've only bought like one or two things in the past, but that usually does pretty well. Got this really cool, North Dakota State University vintage sweatshirt. Really nice graphic, made in USA. Uh, size extra large, this is only $7.99. I don't know how big that school is, but hopefully there'll be a market for it. Get this Mizzen and Main shirt. Mizzen and Main used to be a really, really good brand. $7.99, kind of paying up for it, but it should still go for, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks or so. Excuse me. Got this pair of Affliction black premium jeans like big embroidery and fancy stuff on the butt pockets there's the affliction tag here these are the whoop, whoops cooper straight i haven't looked up comps on these but affliction shirts and like sweatshirts and stuff sell really well so i think the jeans should sell well as as well now these are only nine dollars and 99 cents size 36 apparently that's a good size happy with those i think that's i think that's all the clothing let's take a look at the shoes here it says a pair of men's echo shoes for $7.99, like little leather, leather uh, dress shoe action. These should uh, maybe go for like 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. Got uh, this pair of um, women's Brooks uh, glycerin something. I uh, normally pass on these, but these are in excellent condition. Minimal signs of wear. These were also $7.99, should get about 25, $30 for those. Got this pair of cycling shoes. I've never heard of this brand before. Physic, Physique. Uh, it's it what got me attention was this uh, BOA lacing system right here. These are uh, nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and the comps look pretty good on those. So if you search physique cycling shoes, pre-owned condition, one thirty plus shipping, eighty plus shipping, uh, thirty one, some smaller ones, four, yeesh, 44, 42. So I think these uh, be a good buy at ten bucks. Maybe get at least 40 to 50 for them. This last pair of shoes are here. These are only $7.99, and these got my attention just because they looked kind of weird. And then I noticed that the bottoms, they like, 
squeeze a little bit. So I was like, huh, let me look that up and just <laughs> make sure it's not a good shoe. And turns out it's a great shoe. There are 71 pre-owned that have sold in the last 90 days. And you guys can see, I think these are pretty similar model right there, the hands-free. Basically like the heel like collapses down so people can like slide their foot in without having to like mess with it too much. 73 bucks pre-owned, 90 best offer, 50, 100 best offer, 80, 90. I mean, these are definitely a great brand of shoe that I have never seen before. And chances are you've never seen these either. So Ziva, film lookout for these. So we're back at our hotel now, but that Goodwill was actually pretty good. I feel like we maybe have underestimated it a little bit walking in Next there. Next time maybe we should estimate. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we should estimate we spent uh 89 dollars is that right 89 bucks in there on all yeah, that stuff so. um and i think that's gonna be our last good little stop of the day we have all this stuff in the trunk that we have to somehow squeeze into this friggin ski bag <laughs> This was the this was interesting. This is definitely the most interesting suitcase I could have possibly have found. Absolutely. And it, it was only six dollars, and I bet this thing is worth more than six dollars. This is a Rossig Rossignol. Let's look up comps on the actual bag itself. I search Rossignol ski bag and filter the search results to show only used, and there's 17 that have sold in the last 90 days. I mean, prices are all over the place. I mean, as low as $19.99 plus shipping, and as high as like a hundred bucks plus a hundred, and those are actually skis. So I don't know. I don't know, but it's it seems there's one, eighty one yeah, it's twenty five bucks plus shipping, so it looks like we can maybe triple our money, Not triple or quadruple our money just on the bag itself. Now we got to try to get all this stuff shoved in here. I'm gonna set up the camera and do like a little time lapse. Hopefully that the camera doesn't get hit by a car. So the GoPro actually died because it took it took us so long to get everything shoved in here. I didn't do anything. Haley just stood there doubting me the whole time, but we were able to fit every single thing in this, except two things. This one shirt uh, that I'm probably going to wear tonight and this uh, the, the Jordan hoodie, just because it's so big and bulky. But we should have room in our bags for those stuff, or uh, those items, but everything else fit in this long, <laughs> long, long suitcase. I hope it, hope it fits in the Uber when we have to Uber <laughs> to the airport. Haley's embarrassed that we're gonna have to walk through the air airport with this thing. But I'll get the front end and you get the back end. Then we say, hut, hut, hut. <laughs> so Haley and I are here at the Las Vegas Strip and it's actually kind of cold tonight and I didn't uh, bring my own jacket. So shout out. Shout me. out the Jeff's jacket. <laughs> the ja didn't earlier. you try to like talk me out of buying this? You're like, you're not gonna want to list that. Well, <laughs> look, personal use item. Here we go. We are actually right next to the largest Ferris wheel in the world, apparently. Oh, nice. The Lynx, the Lynx, uh, Lynx Ferris well apparently this is like a 30 minute ride all the way around i don't know much it costs but maybe we'll do that later also just to be honest with you guys i'm not planning on filming our entire night because i kind of just want to enjoy it a little bit but we've got a little bit of battery left on the gopro so i'll try to jump in here and there to show you guys what we're doing but again we're trying to enjoy the vacation without making it too much of a business thing so hope you understand So after sleeping on the idea of walking through the Las Vegas airport with like an eight foot long bag, we decided that it may be a better option for us to come here to Lowe's Home Improvement Store and get one of these boxes, heavy duty, medium 18 by 18 by 16 box, and just put everything in the box and use UPS ground to ship it back home to South Carolina. Haley is much more com comfortable. I am so excited about this plan. <laughs> I did not want to go through the airport with that ski bag. Yeah, it was, it's just weird. It, it, and it, as funny as it would have been, I just don't think it was the best option. So I, I checked some rates on um, on Pirate Ship for UPS Ground for this, going from Nevada to South Carolina. It looks like it's going to cost about forty dollars or so, um, depending on how much it weighs. I just kind of guessed on the weight. I think it's going to probably weigh about twenty to twenty-five pounds. So 
uh, we'll head to the UPS store and see how much it's going to cost. But I love the idea that we can just drop this off, have it shipped, and we don't have to carry any long floppy bags <laughs> through the airport. And for this box, not only did we fit all the thrifted items inside, but we also were able to fit the actual ski bag itself in, in this box as well. So we can still flip that on eBay once we get back home. So I estimated that the Lowe's box was going to weigh 20 or 25 pounds, and it actually ended up weighing 40 41 pounds. 41 pounds. Yeah, 41 pounds at the UPS store. So we definitely did not use UPS store to ship it. I went to Pirate Ship and printed off my label. I used this UPS store as the sending address and sent it to our home address and even on pirate ship with the discounts it was still uh 54 dollars to send it which is i guess reasonable we're all the way across the country so and we don't have to pay the 30 dollars that we would pay to yeah. check the bag in the airport and so, carry it around and deal with yeah all of that so it's really only 24 dollars more than we would have had to pay if we checked the bag and dealt with it carrying it through the airport so i think it was it was a good a good uh what am I trying? A good trade-off. Good trade-off. It was a good trade-off. We're over here at the Tesla charging lot. We have to charge up the Tesla before we turn it in. And Tesla spots were reserved specifically for Teslas. And we got the parking uh, security lady over here. She's like, look at this. It's a Subaru that parked in a Tesla spot. And they tried to be tried sneaky. To be <laughs> and they plugged it into their hubcap <laughs> just to like, oh, nobody's going to know this. The big Subaru logo on the front. They're just going to see the cord. That's crazy. So we're here at the final night of the Boss Reseller Remix, and this is the line to get into the List Perfectly party. I have no idea what the thing's gonna look like once we get in, but this is pretty wild. We got all sorts of resellers. There's, there's uh, Sydney, there's Casey, there's Karen, Howard Lavender Clothesline, there's Mike, what's up? What's up, everybody? Everybody, do something exciting! Something exciting! Woo! Look at there, Callie! How's everybody doing back there? Uh, Who in the world is here in a yes. limousine? But I did look at you. That is the biggest limousine I've ever seen. Vegas VIP. Yeah, see who this is. Wait. So this perfectly party is going pretty well. We got some booze, we 